grim news this week for citrus growers as scientists say there's no hope when it comes to greening. But as ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon discovered, a local farmer found one thing that could save the industry. It's, it's hurting us it's drastically. Between hurricanes, frost, and now greening. Our costs are probably four times what they were. Florida citrus growers have been taking a beating. It, we were desperate five years ago. Now it's worse than desperate. Now only producing 50% of what their orange trees used to turn out 20 years ago. There's no area in the world that doesn't have greening now. And this week, worse news for growers. The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine says there likely won't be any major breakthroughs anytime soon. It protects a tree from getting a, a insect called psyllid. That's why Tommy Thayer hasn't been waiting for an answer. With a tree defender, you're going to get higher pound solids. Instead, he's been creating one along with Scott Thompson. You can see it's almost head high with me. Um, where this with the control tree is, you know, it's still right here. These Dundee citrus growers invented what they call Tree Defender, a net-like defense system to keep the insect that spreads greening from getting at their goods. You can see the characteristics of, of the larger leaves and, and still vibrant growth that's still carrying on. This should stay on the tree for about a uh, year and a half to two years. From a prototype three years ago to fields lined with the product today. Trees seem to just grow better under. Farmers say it's working through rain, sun and frost. I only lost one tree out of all the trees I have tended. A way to keep their crops healthy. I think this is part of the answer. And to save their way of life. I don't think it's the silver bullet. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.